Hello, welcome to Ziga Review. So it seems that there's a controversy going on with the new, um, well, not the new, but the remaster of Spider-Man, the game that was released on PS4. So if you didn't know, Sony is remastering that Spider-Man game for the upcoming PS5. It is going to be bundled with the upcoming Spider-Man Miles Morales game that was created for the PS5. So there's a couple of controversies with that. First, if you want to get the remaster version of the game, you have to buy the Miles Morales version of the game. If you bought the PS4 version, you won't get a free upgrade or you know, you won't get that remaster version with your PS5. Sony is forcing you to buy the new game in order to get the remaster version. And now we know why. The reason is because, for some crazy reason, uh, Insomniac, which is the studio that makes Spider-Man, decided to recast the face of the character. Does this make sense? The voice actor for the game is Yuri Lowenthal. He is not the character model for the game. Are you with me so far? So they have a different actor who is the face of Peter Parker. They use John Bobniak's face to model Peter Parker after his face. So when you're playing the game, you hear Yuri Lowenthal's voice coming out of John Bobniak's face as Peter Parker. I hope that makes sense. So they decided that because they are going to remaster the game, which... It's not the first time this happened. That they were going to recast the face on the game as well. Because for some reason, John Bobniak didn't look good enough as Peter Parker. And the new actor they're using, is his name is Ben Jordan, looks more like Yuri Lowenthal. But if you actually look at him, he looks more like... Tom Holland, um, who plays Spider-Man in the movies. And it seems like that's probably the reason why, because they obviously didn't use Tom Holland, I'm assuming many reasons, in the game. But how did you get away with using somebody who kind of looks like Tom Holland when people are playing him? You use an actor that looks like him, and it looks like Ben Jordan looks more like Tom Holland than John Bobniak did. What they're saying is that Ben Jordan looks better for the PS5, that he looks better for next-gen games. This is what they had to say. We love working with John Bobniak on the original game, however, to get a better match to Peter Parker, Spider-Man, Actor Yuri Lowenthal's facial capture, we have cast Ben Jordan to be the face model for Peter Parker on the PS5 console. He looks incredible in game, and Yuri's moving performances take on a new life. So the first guy that you used for the game wasn't good enough, but you couldn't change it because it was too late, so you had to keep him? It doesn't make sense. If it was okay for the f original game, why isn't he okay for the remastered game? But there's more, so here we go. Insomniac creative director Brian in Intihar, I don't know if I'm saying that right, said, As we discussed the franchise's future and moving to the PS5, it quickly became apparent that delivering even more believable-looking characters made finding a better facial match for actor Yuri Lowenthal, who we all love as Peter. A necessity, he wrote. So, so the other guy, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just trying to process. So the other guy, so the other guy, so the original guy doesn't look good enough for next gen games that's technically what you're saying so somehow 
for the PS4, which had what shitty graphics because last time I checked, the PS4 has gray graphics and you can see perfectly what someone looks like, what a character face model looks like. Now that you're in the PS5, you realize, hey, this guy doesn't look that great when we move on to better pictures. So let's get rid of them. Like, there is going to be, obviously, a visual difference between PS4 and PS5. At least that's what we hope. But it's not like you're going from Nintendo to the PS5, right? It's not like you, we were looking at pixels that kind of look like a face, and now we're actually going to look at a face. And so because of that reason, then you had to recast because this other guy was older or looked older and, and, you know, the pixelated face from the old gen, you couldn't really tell the difference. But now with high fidelity, you'll be able to tell the difference. Like what, what, like there's no reason. And not only that, but he looks incredible in game and Yuri's moving performance takes, take on a new life. So what are you saying? This, this other guy, John Bobniak, did a shitty job. He didn't do a good job. His, his performance wasn't good enough for you, so you recasted it because of that reason. Like, there is nothing that you're saying in this about this situation that's making it sound good or, or that is making the actor who just got dropped feel better about what you're doing. Like, if it was me, I'd be like, wow, I really suck. <laughs> Like I landed this huge game or as so they sold millions of copies of this game, they realized, hey, this guy sucks. We don't like him. Let's find someone else since we get a chance to remake the game. Like it, it really sucks for this guy. And there's a lot of people who are angry about the situation. Uh, so, you know, it's weird. It's just weird to me. It's really, really weird. Go ahead and let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think that Insomnia sucks for doing this? Do you think that they it makes sense, you know, that they're doing this? If you play the game, tell me, you know. Was John Popnik such a horrible Peter Parker that they had to change it? Help me understand. Well, that's it for me. Go ahead and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that bell so you can be alerted every time we have new videos. And thank you very much for watching.